a yard kidball hatchery and these are our two quail chicks that we hatched out of eggs that our quail hen laid we're about to move them into their very own brooder level come on so we already got it set up with the light on and the water we are going to make them drink just like we do with our regular ass chicks Feisty little fuckers. It's hard to make them drink. Right there. <laughs> that one's like, fuck this. I'm gone. There we go. They blend in with the bedding. Tee -hee. They're so cute. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, y'all. Hey, y'all are Kidwell Hatchery. And this morning, you guys saw us put these little guys in the brooder. I'm checking on them. I got off work not that long ago. Oh, come on. They seem to be doing just fine which is so exciting for us. We're very pleased with that. These guys are doing good too. They've made a mess of their food. But they are getting so big, it's almost time to separate, I think. Our quail down here are doing all right. There they are. My phone is acting all weird. What's happening? There they are. Hey, mama. All right, and we're gonna go check for eggs everywhere else. Hit up our... Ooh, the wasps have come back. I don't know why, but they have. So, oh, I see a leghorn egg in there. What's happening? There we go. Hey, guys. Hey, y'all. We had some rain just a little bit ago. Everyone's a little on the damp side. Hey, Goliath. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead. Hey, Orpy. Hey, big, beautiful hen. Goliath just watching me. So we got one leghorn egg. I'm gonna go ahead and check for AM Samani eggs. We'll say hey to everybody in here. Hey y'all. Let me finagle with this door. <laughs> Hello, King Bethlehem. You're looking mighty fine today, girl. Prince, how are you? All right. We got two broodies. She's not settling on any. She's set on three. Lord of mercy. Three AM Samani eggs. Woohoo. Hey. You're such a pretty rooster. All right. Put these down with the leghorn egg. Queenie over there looking rough. We're going to go into the uh, Americana coop. Pull out this hose. Hey, corn burglar. Apparently, we had to fill stuff up today. So 
get the hose out so I can shut the door right. Hey, look at you. So apparently, Crazy Sue and Big Bertha have been getting bullied major. Where I thought that they had already been acclimated into the flock. Apparently, anytime they set foot on the ground, it's game over. So, they've been hanging out up here. Poor things. But our gold spangled Avenzellers are doing great. We just need that one to get a little bigger. Hey. No eggs, which doesn't surprise me, seeing as how she can't get to the nesting box. And Big Bertha's still molting. So there's that taken care of. You are a mighty pretty rooster. So, and I'm not gonna lie, this we're gonna go check the Spitalbins. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I pissed them off this morning. My temper got the best of me when I was doing something else, and so I went in here angry. And um I think I pissed them off and put them on edge, which you know is not a pleasant thing for me seeing as how I have to go in here. So I'm gonna take it slow and check for eggs and hopefully all will be good. Um, excuse me, y'all. I'm just coming in for eggs. So, so far, so good. Oh, excuse me, Mabel. We got two Spitzalbin eggs. Now, today is the day that we load the incubator. Um, so, we should be seeing some stuff hatching here soon. Very, very exciting. I know we're all, we're excited about it anyways. Put these down right there. Pick them back up. And we'll say hello to our death layers. Well, you know, scared as ever. Look at them all. They're so pretty, though. I think they're some of the prettiest birds. And we'll go check on our leghorn flock over here. Make sure that they have food and all that. My partner, before he went to work, um, to work all night, Checked everybody's food and water, made sure they were all good. As you can see, he moved the water back. I don't like it there because it's all tilty, but they all seem to be doing much pretty good, pretty good, except for needing some greens, which maybe I'll stop at our local grocery store and see if we can't strike a deal today. If I do stop, and then I'll let y'all know how it goes. But that is all for Kidwell Hatchery today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, y'all.